Hi everyone, this is Cheryl from Gemzile. I wanted to share with you a project that I finished up last night. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this is a tissue box, and I actually was inspired to make this by Tracy from Mrs. TLC1. Um, that's her YouTube uh, name. <clears throat> and she did this project a while ago, and I saw it maybe, I don't know, maybe about four or five months ago. And um, I wanted to make one like it because I wanted to take it to work. So uh, I found this box. It was an unfinished wood box. I found it at Michael's. And I think it was maybe, I don't know, $6.99 or something like that. And I used a coupon for it. Um, but I didn't start working on it until a couple nights ago. So what I did was I didn't sand it at all. And I probably should have in hindsight. I actually liked the way it turned out, the finish. But the inside of it, this piece right here where the tissue comes through was a little rough. So I kind of wished I would have sanded that part. But anyway, um, I painted it uh, four different colors and um, added a bunch of bling, photo corners, and flowers. So I'll walk you through it now. So it actually reminds me of kind of like a seascape, so to speak, because I painted it um, white, green, blue, and pink. Um, and I kind of wanted it to have kind of like that shabby chic feel to it. But it reminds me of the ocean. It's just really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see all the different colors on the camera. But they they turned out really good. Um, so, let's see. This is a flower right here. It's from Pro 31 Esmeralda on her Etsy store. This right here is just um, some Prima Bling that I got from Hobby Lobby. And these photo corners, this one here and this one here, um, I got... Um, from Discount Charms Drew off his Etsy store. And then these are just a bunch of flowers and the flowers are a combination of Recollections flowers and Pro 31 flowers. Um, this trim right here on the inside is from Hobby Lobby and this trim right here on the outside, this is from Joann's. So um, all of these flowers over here have been glimmer misted. So I'll show you which ones um, I glimmer misted. The leaves were glimmer misted also. Um, and I don't know if you can pick up on the shine on some of the flowers, but all the flowers were glimmer misted with marshmallow. And let's see, these pink ones here, I actually sprayed candy apple red, I believe is the color. And I'll show you the ones that I used. I sprayed candy apple red on a paper towel first, and then I kind of dipped it in there to get the ink on the edges. I did that for this one and this one. <clears throat> so these two, that one and this one. And then I sprayed the marshmallow on it. For this one and this one, I sprayed the marshmallow first and then dipped it in the candy apple red. These other white ones that have um, these recollections ones, the smaller ones, that have um, a little pinkish hue to them. Sometimes it even looks like it may be purple. Those I had sprayed marshmallow on first and then they kind of flipped over and flipped into some of the excess marshmallow. And it was <clears throat> already some glimmer mist on my box, and they turned that color. And I was like, oh, those are cute. I like those. So I kept them. Um, and then these blue ones are sprayed with two different color glimmer mist. Um, I'll get those out and show you guys. Um, so this trim, this white trim goes all the way around. I'm sorry. You guys can see the shadow from my camera. It's morning, but it's not quite bright enough in my room to not have artificial light. So sorry about that. And then the inside, I just painted the inside um, blue and green. So let me show you the uh, products that I used. So this is the trim right here um, that I got from Hobby Lobby that I used on the inside of the rim. And this is the trim that I used um, on the outside, the white trim. And this one I got from Joann's, and I believe this one was on a roll. I don't think I bought this one by the yard. These are the small Recollections flowers that I used. I used a hot pink and then the white. <clears throat> and I don't believe Michael sells these anymore. Um, I bought a bunch of them when they had put them on clearance because they were trying to get rid of them. This is the bling that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, obviously, it's in the white, not the black. And these are the flowers <clears throat> from Pro 31 Flowers, at, or Pro 31 Esmeralda. That's these flowers. I love these flowers. <clears throat> Those are the ones that I sprayed blue, and then a couple of them I just tinged the tips with pink and then um, with uh, some candy apple red glimmer mist and then the uh, marshmallow. 
these are the flowers the big flowers that I used um, these are recollections and I don't think they sell these anymore either but they're so so pretty and now let's see I'll do the paints um, when I started making the project I didn't realize that I didn't have a white paint in the Martha Stewart pearl paints but I had this paint and this one's called white pearl and it's from metallics and I got this from Michaels as well and I've had this one for a while but it served its purpose I just needed it to put you know on the base of the box to kind of give it a different sheen or a different finish before I started painting it so I did this one first then I did this green one by Martha Stewart this mint chip and these are the pearl paints by Martha Stewart and I got these from Michaels as well so I did the green first then I did this blue this gazing ball blue by Martha Stewart I did that one next and then I did the pink um, and this one is antique silk and it's the Martha Stewart pearl one and I kind of I used a foam brush and I just kind of did it in circles because I wanted it to remind me of the sea and so you see some hints of pink and I know you guys really can't get a good look of it but I promise you there are hints of pink in here um, with the blue and the green but the pink just kind of it's very soft it's subtle it's not really huge or anything like that but I think it just turned out really really cute um, the glimmer mist that I used uh, this is the marshmallow one then um, let's see this is the candy apple red that I used and then this is the frost a couple of them just have frost on them the blue flowers um, and marshmallow just a little bit of marshmallow and other ones have both this slate this is the last one that I used both slate and the frost um, and I believe that's all I used I um, hot glued this trim down this trim right here on the inside I used my eighth of an inch score tape first and then here for the inside to wrap it around, I actually used hot glue for this part right here. Um, and then I hot glued all of my flowers down. And the metal corners I used, oh, I can't think of that name of that uh, glue that I used. That, um, the really tacky glue, the one that I used for metals. I'll um, have to find it and put it in the embellishments. I caught myself leaving out all of my supplies, but I guess I forgot that one. Sorry, guys. And I was out of frame, but um, that's what I used on the project. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Um, I think it turned out really cute. I'm going to take it to work and put it on my desk um, rather than keep it here. Because I use tissue, more tissue at work than I do at home. So at least tissue like that. So anyway, you guys have a good one and I will talk to you soon. Bye.